Sadie is a very sweet guy. Take love to my face. Well, I'm achieving the reason why I'm here. So I'm right now. It's day eight in Big Brother Niger house, and the housemates woke up on a very high level spirit. So, starting with the heads of house voting, after that, the result didn't go well with Chinwe for so many reasons. Chinwe said she personally went around campaigning that she wants to be the heads of house, and you know, so many people it kind of gave her a positive vibe, you know, that it would go well. But now, after <laughs> After the result that Ndine became the head of house, Chinwe had to crawl back to the room to her shell, complaining to Zion that, oh, now she's seeing how the game is going and she's she's going to re-strategize. But I'm like, you know, you've campaigned, but bear it in mind that these people, they also have their faves. Anyway, DJ Flo tried to calm her down, even cheer her up to come to the kitchen so they can finish, uh, they could eat something and then you know continue with the day but she said well she has lost her appetite <laughs> and she may just swing straight and do stuff for sean tofa and suj the results of the voting just made them see the need for more alignment so when they started gisting about the game they said they really need to get more people to be on that team in the sense that in uh when they vote it eventually gets to them and being and seeing what happened yesterday regarding housemates saving uh <coughs> saving the list voted they also said they need to be in so many people's book as ahead of sunday evictions why do we have this discussion when he walked in to ask sean what he would love to eat and <laughs> suj was like why are you not asking us you don't want to make the boys happy as well and when he said, you have Nelly to cook for you, go ask Nelly to cook for you. And Tofa said, okay, what about me? I have no one to cook for me, you know, try and make the boys happy as well. They all laughed about it. One is right, because why will you have someone like Nelly and then you're telling someone else go to, you know, cook for you? Anyways, going into the kitchen and Wani said that she's so excited being on this show, knowing that the next AMVCA, they are definitely going to be there. And when Chine asked, oh, I thought they would done AMVCA this year, she said the next one, the housemates are definitely going to be there and they will even give them a room. You know, and she went further to say that how she knew about this is that she dated Sadi. Sadi is big brother Niger Pepe Dempsey's in ex housemates. And she mentioned something. She said they dated for four years. They were dating before he got into the house. And while in the house, he was even talking about her. And that gave her uh, followers on, on her social media platform. And then she said Sadi is currently married. And when the housemates were like, ah ah. Why didn't you people marry? You know, someone you dated for four years. And she said, at the time, Sadi wanted to settle down. She wasn't ready to settle down. So Sadi had to get married to another person. But in all, that she even owed the person she is today. Some part of it that Sadi played a huge role in her life. Being that he's a very intelligent guy. So he influenced lots of good things that happened in her life. Wani added that the same way she bonded with Sean so fast was same way it happened with Sadi. And whoever she bonds that easily with, they end up dating. Well, for Ruti, while the discussion was going on, Ruti said she herself, she's not even ready to settle down right now. That to her, it's just fun. That she don't want to go into a relationship looking like she came she came in for help. She would just want to establish herself before taking the bold step. And from there, <coughs> Wani said she can't wait to leave the house so she could shag. And Ruthie said, well, she can't wait as well, but for her, she came in with her toys. That while at the hotel room during lockdown, she was making use of her toys to help herself and get herself to sleep. That now in the house, she don't even know how to make use of them again. Being that there is no privacy, people are everywhere. And I'm like, mm hmm, biggie, this is your house, Sha. Wani also reminded Ruthie to go talk to Chinwe after cooking, being that Chinwe has been down and feeling some sort of way since she didn't win the heads of house. And Ruti was like, why? It's a game. She better cheer up or she will go talk to Chinwe. Well, Zion told Tofa that uh, it's just uh, women, women and their emotions. That while Chinwe, why Chinwe is just angry is because Chinwe went meeting people 
one on one telling them she wants to be heads of house. And Tofa said, Well, maybe he couldn't have told Chinwe that's him and Suj that they voted for Sean. You know, they gave it to Sean, being that when Sean becomes HOH, you know, they will have access to the HOH condo. You know, of course, Sean is their guy now. And uh, Zion said, of course, he knows this. And that's why he didn't go around telling to tell people. Oh, and and some another thing against that, he's not even ready to be the head of house at the point. He doesn't want it. So he didn't see any need of going around to campaign for it. So me, I was like, okay, since you, you don't see the need to be HOH, like you claimed, you're not ready to be HOH. Why allow your babe now to go around campaigning? for same position knowing that the both of you are a pair now it's not the both of you that will do the whole uh responsibility that comes with being the heads of house still on with strategizing onyeka told victoria that a lot of people don't want her to be in this house and vicky when victoria asked how she came to know about that she said yesterday while the housemates were deliberating on who to save and who to send home she overheard some side talks of people not wanting her to stay i'm like okay <laughs> anyways victoria says she feels bad that tabby had to leave that her, they are both nice people although she didn't connect with them on a deeper level but the little time she did I always checking up on her especially to your say asking her if she's fine or not on that we can advise her to listen up a bit and try to get to know more people in the house now in fact that femi was planning to do that with her then Victoria now asked uh, Onyeka, did Sean ask you to speak to me, to talk to me, to advise me? And she said, no, that this conversation, she only had it with Femi. The Femi was like, oh, you know, uh, Victoria is an introvert, but they will try to make her loosen up a bit. Onyeka also told her I know, that she knows it's not easy, that even coming into the house, she and her sister struggled with that. But she's grateful for them by the way twins who helped them get used to housemates that they really carried them along especially chizoba they were already uh, they were always checking on chizoba and her making sure they talk and have conversations well onyeka also told vicky not to really worry herself that at least the viewers didn't get to <laughs> put them on the list but that it shows that they are loved outside of here and besides if they happen to be up that the housemates are going to are definitely going to save them being that she's with sean and you know sean and wani that one year is enough to even influence other housemates to vote for them to keep them in the house i'm enjoying this tension in the in the house i'm enjoying the fact that they now know the game is on and i give a kudos to big brother because that yesterday eviction because trust me some of them were thinking there won't be an eviction you know they were trying to calculate the game with previous seasons that they've watched and boom it's happened and now everybody's up and doing <laughs> I can't wait to see how they will play the immunity game to see what they are going to bring. Definitely, I know every pair is up and doing right now. Thank you for listening and I will see you in my next video. If you enjoyed listening to this, please like this video for me. I'm begging you, a draw, I beg, be cool. Just love the video and feel free to comment as well. Do have a lovely day. Bye. Hey, hotel, I couldn't sleep. That's why I was using to sleep. <laughs>